Okay, this is going to be video three in this series on this West German P228. Uh, the next step uh, that I'm going to be doing is installing this Grey Guns uh, P series dual adjustable curved trigger. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this guy up. And this trigger um, has two adjustments. Um, one is here in the front for the pre-travel um, so that you can uh, adjust how much travel there is in double action before the trigger starts moving back um, uh, or how much it, it moves before you start to feel some of that resistance. Um, and then the screw up here uh, is for the over travel. Uh, so we'll get this in and see how it goes. Put that to the side for a minute. We'll check for safe. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll have to disassemble anyway. So we'll take the slide off. And then these are the E2 grips that we um, changed out. So to take these off, you use the tool here. You really just have to give this tool a good twist. And the grips just pop off once you get it in the right spot. There we go. And then that slides out. Okay, so the first step here uh, to getting this trigger in is going to be taking off the trigger bar turn spring. That guy doesn't want to come out there. There we go. Okay. We'll set him aside here. Okay. And then, uh, Next, you take the takedown lever out, and to do this, you pretty much take it 180 degrees and wiggle it out a little bit until it pops. And then once it pops out, you just kind of keep twisting until it comes all the way out. Okay. Next, once you have that out, Oh, uh, one thing I forgot is always work on decocked. Um, I forgot to decock it. It just, there's spring tension that makes everything harder. So now the firing block will come out. And then we can use this little tool here to move this pin back. And take out the slide release lever. And then we push oops, on the other side, take the pin out. Now uh, we should just be able to take the trigger out. You've got the um, trigger bar coming in here on this side, uh, right here. And then the trigger, sometimes it gets caught up on the frame. So there's a little bit of wiggle room towards the back. So I usually try to slide it to the back a little bit and lift up just until you get, you just wiggle a little bit until you get clearance on the frame right here. And the trigger's out. I'll put the old trigger over here. Okay. the new trigger. So while we have this out, where is my lube? Okay. Gotta put a little bit of lube on a little bit of grease here on the trigger bar. Squeeze a little bit too much out of that pouch, so wipe my hands off. Then 
can definitely get some here on this where the trigger pivots. That's important. Okay. Um, I'm going to see where the pre-travel screw, how that goes. I'm not going to make any adjustments to it. Um, but this you do have to adjust with the trigger completely out of the gun. You can't make adjustments once it's in the gun. Um, this one, you can make adjustments. You have to take the slide off and everything, but you can get in there with a screw. So not too worried about that one. I'm going to see where this one, um, how this one is before I try to make any adjustments. So I'll put that back on there. Put the trigger bar in first and just make sh put the trigger bar in first and make sure um, the trigger is far enough back that it falls through that hole. And just work it in there. Okay. And we're in. It's our cuckoo clock, sorry about that. Okay, now we'll put this trigger pin back in. Make sure we're lined up here. And the tolerances on this particular trigger are pretty tight, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's in. Um, we're gonna move it over a little bit further the other direction so that we can get that lever back in there. Okay, and then you want these, you want the little flats that are on the trigger pin here to be at about seven o'clock when you're putting it in. So I'm gonna just turn this with a flat head and get them to about the position where I think they need to be. Also make sure you're decocked. Um, we did that before, but we, you should still be decocked. And then let's see if we can get the, this firing block back in. Sometimes it seems like it goes right in, and other times it seems like it doesn't want to. So if that happens, just check things and start over. Well, that looks good. There we go. Okay. When it when it when you have everything right, when this guy, when the um the trigger pin is in the right orientation and you're decocked and everything, if you get the right angle it just slides in and then you know it's fine. Okay, um, to get this, to get the takedown lever back in, I've found you want to be at a, you know, about vertical to um, get past that spring. There's like a little uh, ledge there so you can get that past the spring. But I usually go further counterclockwise first and you have to go pretty far to get it. to go to click all the way in, and then once it clicks all the way in, you can go back and put it in the normal takedown position. Okay, let's get our trigger bar spring in and see how things feel. Okay, 
So now we should be able to see, okay, yeah, look at that. So that seems about perfect out of the box. There is no pre-travel. There's virtually no pre-travel. That seems perfect out of the box. It's There's just a hair to know that you're not too far, but it's not anything like what it was before. I probably should have showed you that, but um, on the stock ones, there's quite a bit of jiggle here um, before you start to feel some of that resistance on the spring. So that feels great. And then um, adjusting the uh, over travel, if you cock it back, um, what, what you're supposed to do, I believe, is you put, turn the screw in pretty much until you don't get anything. See, it, it, the trigger will not go back far enough to release the hammer. Um, so then once you get to that point, basically loosen it about a quarter of a turn until the hammer will fall. Okay, hammer fell. And then once you get to that point, you just want to do one more quarter turn. There were no instructions uh, in the gray guns box. Um, this is what I've found looking at their website and online, but um, that's pretty much where you want to be. Okay, let's see. So yeah, that feels so nice. It's just you get back and there's like no over travel. It's it's really getting nice. Um, I think I went a little bit too far, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna tighten that just a hair, not even an eighth of a turn, just enough to reduce that down. Okay. Okay, let's make sure that still functions. Good. Yeah, that's perfect. I cannot wait to get uh, the SRT kit in here because um, you've got that you no know, over travel and then the reset is just going to be awesome. But this trigger feels great already. We don't even have the gun assembled yet. Okay. Next, um, you could put the, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put the grips on. All right, so here I usually start at the bottom and get over those grip screw slots. Um, and then watch out for the springs on both sides, but I try to pretty much come straight on and watch out for those springs. And then you're really just squeezing it forward. Um, as long as you are not binding up and you don't want to force it on those springs, but as long as you're not binding up on those, you should be good. There you go. Um, let's see. Yep. Make sure all those clicks happen. And that's nice. Oh yeah, look at that trigger. Just no take up. And then very little over travel. Yeah. That is really exciting. Everything's functioning. Yeah. I'm so very excited. Um, SRT kit is next and um, we'll keep working through these so thanks again for watching